Hello everyone, new day and I'm again starting to work on my RV10 build. Today my plan is to continue working on the rudder part. Well, basically according to Vance manual, it's going to be a lots of match drilling of all holes. After that, we're gonna be deburring lots of holes. We're gonna be finishing deburring all the skins, all the edges of the parts. And at the end, the plan is to prime all inner part of the rudder. Well, that's basically the plan. And uh, the next after that, it will be the assembly, the riveting, but that will leave for the next episode. But for now, much hole drilling, after that, deburring of the holes, deburring of the surfaces, preparation surfaces for the priming, and basically priming, that's the plan. Outside the weather is not very nice, actually it's below VFR minimums and uh, no way to fly, so definitely I prefer to work today on my airplane and fly next time when I have a better weather. So, drilling part is now completed, actually match drilling part. Well, that was quite a big amount of uh, holes I had to match drill and um, especially here at the trailing edge you have to drill it in a perpendicular, not with the surface of the skin, but basically with the uh, cord of the uh, like the middle of the uh, rudder itself so it's a little bit tricky but anyway it's done now so next steps probably gonna be uh, well basically the we're gonna be deburring all holes because we now match drill all each and every hole here after that we're gonna be dimpling so preparing actually the skins for the rivets and after that I guess it's going to be the covering of the inner um, surfaces with the primer and after that riveting so I will see how much of uh, how much amount of work I can do today but hopefully I will do as much as I can and by the way yeah be between the last video and this video it's about two weeks time so well I guess you know you understand it's the time of the year <laughs> I was sick so I don't know well those vaccines they doesn't really work and um, I got sick so I had to spend some time at home anyway let's continue to work on this part and um, well basically about this specific um, part so it's very important to put as many clickers as you can just to make sure you hold both skins and skeleton very firmly together so I put as many as I could except I left like the each second um, the hole 
empty without the clico so I can match drill it and at the same time after I match drill the holes of the um, of the skeleton I put as many clicos as I could so just to make sure it's all firm well it's a rudder right so we want this part to be super super precise like any other part of the airplane of course anyway so let's watch uh, how it's gonna go to the next step and our next step will be basically to start the burring of the holes and start dimpling so let's start to disassemble everything and the next step is to remove both skins mark them to ensure that when we're going to be installing back we won't mistake but in, in my case anyway there will not be there will be no mistake because my uh, top side will still remain covered with that plastic um, plastic protection i'll just probably cut uh, lines for the uh, for the um, uh, clicos and for the rivets well basically and after that we will have to deburr the holes and start to do a dimpling of all holes in a whole surface but before we have to mark some other inner ribs to ensure that after reinstallation they will be installed to the same specific place So since the last video it's about two weeks and uh, I was sick unfortunately so I couldn't work much I had to stay home while kids brought something from school probably but by the time I received some goodies from the aircraft spruce so first of all the backing bar I got big large backing bar for the back riveting it's a very important thing and I was looking to it and I finally purchased it because exactly this rudder part will require some back riveting so I have a backing bar also what I got is I got back riveting tool well which is quite a nice tool so it's for the back riveting with the plastic protector so it's probably won't slide off and well, we'll see how it's gonna work uh, should work for me and um, another tool it's for the riveting with the rubber like uh, rubber cover here so basically it's supposed to hold it in a place and when we're riveting it won't let it move to the side jump to the side so basically i hope i won't make the same mistakes like i did on my previous um, the vertical stabilizer skin where my uh, my basically rivet gun just slide off and i like basically dimpled some amount of uh, skin at some space so anyway i got new toys <laughs> new tools which i'm very happy about and i'm i will be testing those very soon So what we're doing is actually the same, right? We cut the plastic, protective plastic, all along the uh, the holes where our rivets will be installed. Why we do that? We technically could just remove all that protective plastic and uh, it probably won't make any difference, but during work, I'm sure all the surfaces will, will be scratched. And the more scratches we have, more difficult to make a nice paint job after for the for the painter for the whatever for the shop so i prefer just to make a nice cuts and 
I just simply use the regular uh, soldering iron and it's about what about 60 watt yeah it's about 60 watt power so it's not that powerful and that's it I removed so look how it is nice it's all along the holes now I can deburr holes now I can dimple holes I have all access to holes and with the same time the most like the biggest uh, islands or the parts of the skin are still protected uh, on the outer skin are still protected with a plastic finally completed and now it's time for dimpling so uh, vans in their instructions um, for the rudder no longer tells you which hole to dimple which hole not to dimple or leave alone they basically assume you already understand that anything which will be connected which will be on top of on the outer skin has to be dimpled each hole and with the same time anything which goes through the ribs uh, has to be dimpled so basically together with the ribs so basically the skin and the rib so well i will try to figure now just to ensure that i'm i won't make any like extra dimples which are not needed but i assume under my understanding is that i have to dimple all holes on the skin which i before magic drilled and which will be in contact with the ribs in the ribs uh, well yeah that's it that's all so we'll try to do it right now and you'll be witnesses Everything is ready except the remaining part which is uh, priming. I have done all dimpling, all counter sinking, I prepared all materials, everything is ready. I basically now just uh, have to put everything, uh, like uh, put the primer on all parts and let them dry while I'm gonna go home. So priming is the next step. Today was a very productive day. I did lots of uh, steps, important steps. And as I said, next step is a priming. For priming, I'm gonna be using the Sam gray color primer and my paint gun. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing write me your comments i'll be more than happy to answer your questions well hope you like my videos i'm trying to show you in all 
details as I can the process of assembly of my RV tent from vans and currently we're working on the rudder so see you next video bye